Welcome to this brief video introduction on searching for properties using FlexMLS IDX, the same system agents use, giving you the most current and comprehensive data search on the internet. What you see when you start your search is a map, and on the left hand side, search criteria. Let's look at the search criteria first. Your first option is property type. You can choose residential, residential rental, etc. We're going to stick with residential. Next, you're going to, going to want to look at dwelling type. If you are looking for a freestanding residential home, you will want to choose single family detached. If you are looking for a condo, you'll want to use apartment style or flat or loft. Scrolling down, you will see many common fields that you will want to enter criteria into, like list price. Here you can enter a range, let's say between 300,000 and 350,000. You can also select criteria such as number of bedrooms, bathrooms, approximate square footage. Scrolling down, um, there is one category that has become quite popular lately, and that is special listing condition. This is where you can choose to uh, exclude or include only specific property types, such as short sales or lender owned. So let's say that we do not want to look at any short sales. So we find the short sale category and where it says or, we're going to click and make it not. However, in our search, perhaps we want to look at only lender owned. So where it says or, we're going to make it a not and then we're going to click it again so it says and. This search result will only result in lender owned properties. Finally, let's scroll down and look at the status. By choosing active, you are looking at the properties that are currently active in the system. AWC would uh, indicate the properties that have contracts written on them. Now, let's take a look at the map. Um, th you can move the map around by selecting the, the pan hand. When you are in this mode, you can click on the map and move it to whatever part of the valley you are looking for. To scroll in or out, you use this slide bar here, and you can zoom into a specific area. Now, to select a certain area on the map, um, you can choose one of the shapes, the rectangle, circle, or polygon. To use this shape, you simply click on it, and then you're going to take your mouse, and you're going to click on one corner of uh, the area that you want to select. You click once, you let go, and then you're going to drag your mouse out, uh, covering the area in the purple color that you want to search in. When you have that area selected, you click again, which turns it a light blue, and now that only that area will be searched based on the criteria that you've selected on the left-hand side. Now the properties showing here are the properties in our search criteria, so let's go ahead and take a look at our list. When you click at list on the top right hand corner, it is going to give you a list of all those properties with some information. You can sort any of these categories by simply clicking on the heading, but to get more information, you'll want to click detail. This will bring up the detail page for the currently selected property. To get the detail on another property, you simply click another property. The next tab is Photos. To look at the photos for these properties, you click on Photos. It will bring up the photos here at the bottom, and then you can scroll through them. It will show you all of the photos that have been uploaded for that specific property. The final tab that we want to look at is Map. When you click on Map again, this will show you where the property exactly is, and it will be sh uh, shown as the circle with a white star in the middle. I hope this quick tutorial will get you started on your search. If you need further assistance, give your agent a call. When you do write a contract, please write Equity Title Biltmore Office on line 93. We are located at 32nd Street in Lincoln and we have excellent experienced escrow officers to close your transaction. Enjoy searching!